Hey guys, it's Dr. Steve here again. Uh, I just want to take a little quick second to show you one of my favorite stretches. Uh, it's called the Bretzel, and it's a really good stretch for both uh, anterior and posterior chains. Uh, there's a couple of different positions for it, so I'm going to show you uh, one part of each position, and you can just flip it over and do it on the other side the exact same way. Uh, I would save this stretch for after you get done working out or doing an exercise. Uh, that way your muscles are nice and warm so you get the most out of the stretch. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first thing you're going to need is something to lay your head down on uh, so that it's nice and supported. We want to make sure that we start this stretch all the way up on our side with our knees bent up to hip height uh, so that we're not creating too much tension to begin with. Then what we're going to do is we're going to throw the bottom leg back, grab a hold of wherever it is you can get a hold of. Ideally, you'd be grabbing onto your ankle or so. And then we're going to push the leg down, kick this shoulder out from underneath, and then we're just going to twist and open up. Uh, as we open up, you want to try and keep this leg pinned down if we're working for the low back. If you want to work your mid-back, we can raise this up to about hip height here and open the twist even more. But I would just try to keep it pinned down as much as you can. Take a big deep breath in, and as you breathe out, we can open that chest up even further. So you just want to keep opening this up. Three, four, five breaths, nice, slow, even, should be good enough. Flip over and do the same thing on the other side. The second position is going to be up on our side here like this. I usually like to have a nice line on the ground so I don't get confused about where I'm supposed to be. Knees start in the same position there, but this time we're going to throw the top leg back and then we're going to open our chest up towards the front of the room. So what you want to try and do is keep your chest nice and open as far as you can. Reach this hand underneath the opposite side and then drop down towards the mat. Try to keep that shoulder as open as possible. That way we're getting a nice stretch all the way through here down to the knee on that side. Uh, if you want to make this even a little bit more complicated, what you can do is kick out this side, bring this hand underneath again, drop down to the side, and then we're getting a nice good stretch all the way around the back side to the shoulder. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call and let me know. Have a good day. Bye.